You can point and laugh I'm sure he's used to that Using faith like an acrobat Till the net breaks She won't get upset Though we never met I know everything he said Cause a friend told me Hey hey everyone Alright, I know I haven't made uh, very many worthwhile videos lately But um, this one really is uh, And I've got a lot of things to discuss So we're going to get right down to it And I'm doing it snark style Got it all written down I know exactly what I'm going to say I need to say it Alright, so First topic of choice is You want to know what I got? You want to know? You really want to know, don't you? It's a gold medal from Skills USA. See that? That's a gold medal that I won at the state competition in Marble, Massachusetts. Uh, I got it for advertising design, and it's pretty cool. Uh, I made another video. Excuse me. I made another video that uh, was a compilation of all the pictures that I'll put in. Um, I'll put in this description for this video, but uh, it's you should go see that video too if you haven't. But um, it was just it was just a really fun time, and I really didn't expect to win gold at all, and I did. And my dad was there, so it was really cool. And I I jumped on him so hard that uh, that when I got my name called, because they they called bronze, because they go bronze, silver, gold. They called bronze, and I was like, oh my god, oh my god, I'm not gonna get it. And then they called silver, and I was literally like like this with my head down in my knees. And uh, and then they called gold, and it was my name. And it w it was like that one split second of like the whole world, like everything was like loud, and then it was just like all like, <laughs> and everything like, ugh, it was amazing. Everyone was screaming. It was sixty-seven kids from my school, and all of my favorite advisors and stuff. So really cool moment. Um, so yeah, that is my ticket for a trip to Nationals, which is in Kansas City, Missouri. Um, my school is going to pay for it, pay for everything except for shopping expenses, which I am pretty chill with that. Um, so yeah, that's item number one. Alright, let me put this away. Item number two. Um, I was talking to Snarka Triumph, uh, I'll put her thing in the side. You probably know of her. She has 810 subscribers when I just checked her channel. She's probably got 840 now because she's getting subscribers so quickly. Um, we were talking in Stickham about uh, when I was in there last, which was a little while ago. Um, we were talking about how there's really nothing going on on YouTube. And since then, I've started a campaign, uh, which I will get into. But um, I think I'm starting something on YouTube. I think I'm starting something that's going to be big, hopefully. And if it's not, then I may have to reconsider my place on YouTube because I said that a while ago that I didn't know my place. But I think if this doesn't if this doesn't come through, I may I may lose my interest in YouTube altogether because I know this is a community and I know that everyone loves everyone else and we all have our differences. We all make fun of each other. Some of us get suspended or banned because we hate on each other so much. But uh, I know that when we have a good cause we're fighting for, we will come together and we will persevere and get support for it. So that brings me to item number three. Um, the YouTube team for the Breast Cancer 3-Day in Boston. I'm heading it. I'm in charge of it. Uh, not the 3-Day, but just the team for the YouTube team. Uh, I'm in charge of it, and I've contacted big names of YouTube. I've contacted What the Buck. I got him to respond back to me. He's a wicked nice guy. If you haven't ever talked to him, he's a really, really nice guy, and he's kind and really cool. Um, but uh, I emailed him, and we talked, and he's not going to be able to come to the Breast Cancer 3-Day in Boston, which is really sad, because um, because I know how much fun he would have for three days wearing pink. So, uh, but anyway, I contacted him, I contacted William Sled. William Sled hasn't gotten back to me yet. Um, I've gotten emails from people who are in some way related to the Breast Cancer 3-Day, or um, they comment on my video, and they they just have such encouraging words and stuff. So it's really cool. Um, but now I'm calling out other people. I'm going to go to Snark to Triumph. I'm going to go to uh, the Five Awesome Drunks. I'm going to go to um, Ashan Pag, and uh, because I know she's our YourTube advocate, see if she can maybe get some T-shirts lined up for us. Um, I want a comment war started on the video for the Breast Cancer 3 Day that I made, um, the one with the really crappy background that I did in Photoshop in about 10 minutes, and all the distortion above my head. 
I want a comment war started. If you can go over there and comment it, I want it on top of most discussed because I feel it is an, an important issue. And if so many people are finding that there's nothing going on on YouTube, I beg to differ. I really do. Um, but uh, getting back to the subject of uh, Michael Buckley and what the Buck Show and uh, yeah, all that stuff. Uh, he talked to me uh, through email and we conversed and uh, he decided to take my video and because he couldn't be, he couldn't be a part of the Breast Cancer 3 Day, um, at least not this year, uh, he decided to take my video for the Breast Cancer 3 Day and put it as one of his favorites on his video log on his channel, which was really cool. Um, I jumped in one day from 75 views to 115 views and now it's no longer visible on his page, which kind of sucks, uh, but at least it's there if people dig deeper into his video log, which I know they probably won't. There's probably not a good chance that they will, but it's cool to know that it's there and that the person with the most subscribers on YouTube as an entertainer uh, favorited my video. And, and the fact that all these YouTube people, and I've been saying it for a while now, that all these YouTube people are so easy to get in touch with, and they're normal people. They, If they have any fame at all, it all came from YouTube, and that's that's really cool. So, that was number three. On to number four. I'm getting close. I'm getting close to 100 subs. I'm at 94 right now. Not, wait, hold on, hold on. YouTube.com slash user slash MoVlogger. I am at 94 subs. Uh, 2,893 channel views. Uh, I've watched 946 videos. I'm close to 1,000 videos so far. Um, really, really cool stuff. Um, but I need six more subscribers to get to 100. My 100th uh, subscriber, I don't know what I'll do for him. I'm, I'll give him a hug when I see him, when I meet him, finally. Uh, I don't know. I might send him something. Who knows? Um, and I'm also, also almost at 60,000 views, which is a milestone for me. Every every thousand views, every view alone is really cool to know that people are out there, that people are watching me, that people are bringing me into their life <laughs> through their computer. It's just really, really cool. So um, I have, let's let's calculate this, uh, for 141 views until I reach 60,000, and I have six more subscribers until I reach 100. So that's my fourth topic. Numero cinco. <laughs> I got a new job. Um, I'm no longer going to be working at Hollister uh, in my mall, uh, which is sad, but uh, I have to call and quit. So if you're watching this and you're from Hollister, <laughs> don't tell them yet. Um, I have to call and and resign and just tell them that it's not worth it. It's literally it's a half hour drive each way from my house to my job at Hollister, and that is a half hour worth, worth of gas, which is almost four dollars a gallon now. Four dollars a gallon. On one of the islands near where I live, it just went up to four fifty nine a gallon. That's insane. That's insane. Four dollars and fifty nine cents a gallon. That just makes me realize how much more we need to switch to biofuels and switch to alternative energies and make sure that the people who are getting rich don't keep getting richer. So uh, my new job, though, is I'm going to be a freezer guy. Um, basically, I'm working for an ice cream company, and the ice cream trucks will drive in. There's 24 of them that go all, all around my area. Um, they will drive in, and uh, the manager will yell, order up, and you will come. You get the paper from her. You run into the freezer with a cart, and you load up all the ice cream that they order for, uh, for you to bring to them. You wheel it out to their little ice cream truck. They take it. They load it onto the truck. Um, you get an hourly pay, and if they're supposed to break down the boxes that are empty from their ice cream sales, but they usually don't, so they'll throw all the boxes into the driveway, and you take them inside, you break them down, but they know that's not part of your job description, so they'll tip you, and you might get 10 bucks per driver for tip, 5, 10, 3, I don't know, but, um, and then you just split the uh, tips between the other guy or the two other guys that are working, and it's going to be cool because hopefully um, my good friend Cody will be working with me, and that'll be really cool to spend the whole summer with him lugging ice cream around. <laughs> so, all right, that's all of my info. That is my update. If you need something to do, go over to the video that I'm linking over in the side and uh, and start a comment or start commenting. The first person to reach 100 comments, maybe I'll send them something. I'll send them a CD. I'll send them 
something of mine. I don't know. Um, the person who wins, uh, if it's one of the five awesome drunks, I'll probably end up giving them a, uh, a nice whiskey, as suggested by one of my subs. Um, or I may send you something similar, if you're not one of the five awesome drunks. But I can't buy whiskey. I'm only 18, so... I don't know how cool my parents would be with sending whiskey through the mail, but uh, that's a whole other story for another video. So, I gotta go, but um, go over to that video, join me for the YouTube team for the Breast Cancer 3 Day in Boston, and until next time, keep watching. Bye, guys. Hey, another thing. Tell me if you're getting sick of the... <laughs> ...yet, okay?